Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and oh what was that, sorry. Dear Diary. Today we're going to talk about God's plan and purpose on your life. But this is my testimony. Oh that was right, that was a good timing. We all know that everyone has a purpose, that God has designed everyone for a purpose. We know the famous Bible verse, Jeremiah 29 11, For I have plans for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and plans to not harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. And within these plans is the purpose that God has for us. So yeah, I'm going to start off young. Let's go take it back to high school. <laughs> I dropped out of high school at 16 years old. Um, I w went to high school in Australia and so I was moving to New Zealand and I decided that I didn't want to carry on with school. And so I wanted to do a course along the lines of graphic design because I was really into art back then. So I was put in a foundation course and that kind of went downhill. I kind of made the wrong friends and kind of got influenced and <laughs> kind of went a bit haywire so I did a lot of experimentation when I came to New Zealand um, my parent my dad was quite strict with me in Australia but um, in New Zealand I, I was a little bit of a free-range chicken so I kind of <laughs> went all out so um, you know I, I started to experiment with c cigarettes drinking weed all of that all of that jazz anyways I got sent back to Australia and I started to work at an RSA club um, as a bartender uh, slash a uh, barista and uh, I was working there for about a year and my dad was talking to me and he was kind of like um, asking me what do I want to do in my future like did I have any goals or did I have any plans and to be honest with you I, I didn't and so um, my dad kind of gave me a, a deadline um, as to to sort myself out in terms of um, what I want to do for my future and so the deadline came and I still didn't know what I wanted to do um, like there was many things that I wanted to do and there was many things that I was interested in but nothing that I was like ready to commit um, time, expenses and effort to, um, nothing really stood out to me. And so I got sent back to New Zealand and when I came back to New Zealand I started to work at a security company um, doing handling cash and transit so I um, you know I filled up ATM machines and uh, uh, we um, took cash to different companies and um, yeah. Uh, so I worked there for about a couple of years and again I was just doing it because it was a job gave me money and um, I was just happy to get money um, but um, I didn't obviously I didn't feel fulfilled or or that I had a purpose in that job as well I then took a break from that job um, because a few things happened but that's another testimony um, but um, I then started working for McDonald's in the city and I was working at McDonald's for about three years I think three two to three years and at that point I was about maybe 23 hold on a moment let me just do some calculations 22 I was 22 at this point when I started to work for McDonald's and I worked there for about two three years I actually loved working at McDonald's because like the people were such a vibe and like but again it was just that uh, just to get money I didn't really feel purposed or fulfilled one um, one afternoon I was doing a night shift at um, a closing shift at McDonald's with my friend and he asked me and he goes oh so you know you've been working here for ages eh? and I was like yeah yeah I have and he goes to me um so are you gonna work here all your life or, or are you thinking of doing studying and like to be honest when he asked that I didn't know what to say because I was like oh I didn't really think of like I didn't really think of that I don't think of what I'm gonna do in the future 
and um, he said to me, he goes, oh, I, I think you should try teaching. And I was like, teaching? Like, what? Kids are annoying. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I love kids now, okay? So, um, but um, if you asked me back then, I would have been like, what the hey? So anyways, um, yeah, he said teaching. I always, he says, I always see you when the kid, cust like when the customers that are kids come up and you're just so like, so sweet to them. And I was like, um, I have to because I get paid. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, he, yeah, he said that and I was like, yeah, whatever, like I just brushed it off. But then, um, but I was, uh, that that thought was replaying in my mind um, of, you know, studying to become a teacher. And um, that night, after that night shift, my church was having a, a youth rally that night. And um, one of the pastors from Fiji was um, a speaker that night. Um, I was a little bit late because um, our shift went over the time that the, youth rally kind of starts but as I was catching the train to the youth rally um there was a, like my thoughts were just um were going 100 miles per hour about teaching and like I knew in my heart and in my mind at that moment on the train I was gonna apply and like I was started looking up um places to apply f to study teaching um and yeah, I just I just knew teaching. I'm gonna te I'm gonna do teaching, and this was the first time I f I felt sure of something. And so as I got to the um, as I got to the school hall, the pa I was really late. So the pastor was wrapping things up, and then I uh, I went to find my sister and I sat next to her and I was like I was like sis, sis I want to be a teacher. And as the pastor was wrapping up, he was praying over all the youth, and we had our hands up and everything. And um, the first thing he said was somebody in here is gonna be a teacher and a leader and I just looked at my sister straight away and I said uh, I didn't even say anything I was like 2013 um, is when I went to the youth rally and 2012 is when I got baptized and gave my life to Christ and so I was kind of a new believer and still kind of stepping in stepping in faith and so um, as soon as I heard that confirmation from the pastor, I applied straight away for early childhood teaching because I didn't know where to start. Um, and so uh, I, I started with certificate in early childhood education at MIT and I passed. And then from there, I went on to my bachelor's and got my degree and I passed and I graduated and I became a teacher <laughs> for early childhood. Um, so I, I became a teacher god is good like he honestly honestly god god orchestrates everything for the good of those that like seek him and and like put him first and i started to work in 2017 for uh a kindergarten and um i worked there for about three years and i worked there for about three years and this was last year 2020 when um we had our first lockdown which was in april i think and um, during that time, I was like, I was uh, consistently seeking the Lord at this time. And um, I was becoming a bit more um, stable in my, and stronger in my faith. And uh, I just, I, I was praying to the Lord because I wanted to actually, I, I had a more clear idea and I wanted to study, uh, I wanted to go into media school so that I can create Christian films. Um, and but the Lord put in my heart that to to go to Bible college, and in my head I was like Bible co Bible college like that's so out of where I want to go. But um, you know, in obedience, I I said yes to Bible college, and so I applied for the Elam Leadership Bible College, and I just realized that it's a leadership college and looking back at the prophecy uh, that of when the pastor prophesied he said a teacher and a leader and so everything really is making sense um, and so here I am today 2021 I'm finishing up my first year of Bible college uh, I've got a couple more weeks to go and honestly this year has been an eye-opener it's been a, a healing process it's been a, a, a heart process like a lot of things that have come to surface that has um, that the Lord wanted to put light on He uh, in my life that He wanted to uproot and um, plant new seeds in. I can see that the hand of the Lord was on my life, even when I made decisions that weren't the greatest. Like 
the Lord's hand was always on my life and he was always with me every step of the way. As I think about Jeremiah 29, 11, it's actually about, like the whole chapter was actually about um, the Israelites and when they were in exile. And Jeremiah was telling them that you guys are going to be in exile for 70 years. And for me, I felt like, not in exile, but I felt like I was unsure of what of where to go of what to do i was in like a i was in a mental exile i guess and so um jeremiah said that 70 years you're going to be in exile he also says that god will promise plans to prosper you plans for a future and a hope like the lord still promises to give you a future and a hope regardless of the decisions that you make that that you, that may delay or um where the Lord is calling you he still has that promise for you he still has a plan for you he still has a purpose for you and I am just want to share my testimony for those that um, feel like they don't know what they're doing with their life that don't know where to go or what to do but I'm here to encourage you trust in the Lord honestly trust in God's plans and not your own like sometimes you might feel like you want this but the lord's telling you to go here go where the lord is telling you to go honestly he'll direct your paths and he will give you more than what you even imagine because i can't even imagine looking back at mcdonald's like, i can't imagine seeing myself in the future and be like oh i go to bible college or oh i've i've um, got a degree i literally thought i was not smart enough for that but you know the lord is always faithful for, to those that are obedient to him to those that seek him and so i want to encourage you today that you have a purpose that god has a plan god has a purpose for you it's up to you whether you want to go walk into in obedience walk in faith um it's up to you to answer the call because the Lord is definitely calling you and um, yeah but you know we all have free will we all have free choice freedom of choice and it's up to you to make that choice whether you want to step into what God is calling you to and and all the abundance that it comes with or whether you want to make your own choice and then the consequences that come from your choices as well so yeah, I just pray that this testimony encourages someone today because God wants to take us out of exile to a place with a future and hope. That's what God wants because he has a plan for you. He has a plan for me. He has a plan for everyone. But I know that the Lord's not finished with me, even though I'm in Bible college now, that there's still a lot more journey to go. Um, I know that I don't even know the final destination. All I know is that I'm committing every plan onto the Lord and wherever, wherever he asks me to go, um, that I just go in obedience like there's many times where i question lord is this where you want me to go because i literally don't think that i belong or like that i fit into that kind of place or area that he's calling me to um but yet he's calling me there for a reason whether it's to build my character whether it's to um change my heart posture you know um he's calling me there for a reason and and i know now that wherever god calls you um there's a reason for that i pray that you walk in obedience and walk in faith um trust the lord trust in his plans trust in his ways um and just watch the lord work in your life yeah God bless you guys. Don't forget you have a purpose. God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for everyone. Okay? Don't think that you have no purpose. One, trust the Lord. Two, walk in obedience. And three, um, God has a plan and purpose on your life. For real, for real. For real, for real. Bye. Love ya.